Follow Joanna's example and take a man for yourself. I don't care too much about a man, Rich. Why not? You'd have grooms available like stray cats on the streets. What is holding you back? Many twists and turns on the way. You are too careful. Better safe than sorry. Lena do you see that girl that has climbed on the fence across the street? Waving her arms so grimly? It's a wonder why she's not falling from there. Isn't that Hong San Hu? It's her. Hong San Hu? Really? She has not been seen in town for over half a year. How could she have sprinted here so suddenly? Dear maid, send someone to fetch her in line. Don't you dare! She, in here, and in those rags! Clothes do not make a person worse. She is going to behave inappropriately as always. She is not wicked when treated well. I wish to hear about the wedding crashes outside are chatting about my wife. They envy you because of Johanna. Yes, George. You know it was said for many years that you had your eyes on her. She had the power to choose whoever she wanted. Oh, I assure you, you got the shiniest golden treasure for yourself when you caught Johanna. And you know what? She's got 600 marks in her bank. Ooh. No lies here. And interests in addition. Wait until I show you. I took her back mandate into my custody already. Look at this. 600 <laughs> it is! Oh. Right! Oh, oh man, worthy of yours to live. I wish I would be so lucky. 600. Our golden boy's got 600 marks in his wife's dowry. We shall have to go woo too, George. There aren't enough of the rich girls for each and every one of us. 
Some of us will have to make do with poorer ones or go without. I myself would rather stay without so that I shall live as I wish. If a poor one will patch your trousers, Tony. And what's all this about a man not getting to live as he wants even after taking a wife? A lame joke. Tobacco, boy! Yes. What? Yeah. Heavenly spell did you use to get Joanna? We would be granted none. I shall advise you pro bono. There's nothing more in there than outwitting the girls. But it's easily done. Do they know not too much, if anything at all, about the way the world works? Remember my words. Homesanto will turn out to be normal as the time passes. That dire beast? <laughs> Never. She is not to be tamed, I bet you. My neighbour just recently complimented Homesanto from earth till heaven. I had to stay with them the whole summer and work like a horse. There you go! But what if she gives people a reason for all that mocking? I heard her behaviour was exemplary. And she is to get married this autumn. I said she's got a fiancé here in the city. Somebody has probably fooled her. <laughs> when she's a gypsy on top of this all. The father was an ordinary man, but mother was from a gypsy heritage. She ran away and would have taken Homsanti with her if his relatives had not run after her and taken the child away. Then those gypsies even cast their spell on him to make him drink so wickedly that he lost his house and everything. Died for the alcohol eventually. And left the child to run the tracks of the world alone. Poor oh, Homsanto. Maybe she would have been better off with her mum. Not a day will I fear my wife if I want to drink. Goodness gracious. <laughs> well, well, we'll see. What will you do when your wife says, A man is mine, you shall not spend it as you want. <laughs> That's a question. Who rules the property? Husband or wife? You happen to know the law that much, my brother. Well, the law gives power to the man, but it seems as though wives can hold their sides after all. Malicious ones seem to have all kinds of tricks and hooks. But Joanna is different. <laughs> yes, yes, laugh all you want. But I would not know my Joanna. What are the drinks brought in? Dear me, hurry. And the spirits would be served ages ago. Rib. It's in the beginning of my life together, exactly like the rise of a spring day. You think so? Son of Lord, how beautiful you are this evening. It is a joy to look on you. That dress is as handsome as it should be on a rich pride. It is a good thing to call you my own, I'll tell you that. Are you pleased? Guess how many of these men would like to be in my spot tonight? Oh, and if I got a girl that rich and beautiful, that... That is what everyone is thinking. <clears throat> Finally, the drinks are brought in. Everyone must be happy tonight. Oh, you're not as bad as much as you fancy. My toes are all tickling with the excitement of jumping. Shall I show you how an old maid dance goes? Stand back. Here we go. La da dee, la da la da da. Yes. La da dee, la da doo, la da da. That's the joy right. Everyone is looking at you. Why are you dancing, not in the way? You must be happy tonight, Joanna. I don't have a measure for my love. I've never yet lived a day like this. For your health, dear guests, this night, gentlemen, we shall drink as much as we want, for we shall not run out of spirits in my wedding. Cheers! Cheers! Let's hope they don't drink themselves <laughs> too fiercely drunk tonight. Red will mind me away. If they remember. And what then if they drink a bit? Get a drunk man, and soon you'll be done with all the fun. But it is true that men these days don't stay put unless you put a drink in their hands. There are still the decent ones among them. Now they are refilled. Take them, drink, and drink heavily. Drink until the world is spinning in your eyes and your ears are humming and thundering worse than the cotton factory. Then, then you shall know you have drunk at Ridge's wedding. Horrible is the feast where the men arrive back home sober. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, Polska, yes. let's dance. Men, take one for yourselves, and I shall take my little chip. Gavel, revel, long is Ridge, a couple of words, sir. Even three. All right, let's further away so the others don't know. Well, what have you got now? There will be no hosting for any bad life here tonight, right? I'm starting to get scared. Bad life? 
Damn it, is this why you've turned so earnest? What kind of bad life would we have here? If the schnapps run too fast and men get drunk. So what? Not on such an old thing with a party like this. Reg, my dearest, don't spoil the wedding joy for us. Oh, I couldn't get a bit wasted at my own wedding. Hey, don't speak so loudly. You are joking, Rich. You don't mean what you are saying. I'd be blindly ashamed if you got yourself so drunk. Right. Joanna, listen. Remember what the priest just said to us. What? That the man is the head of the wife. Ah, yes! The man is the head of the wife. As, as a cat is the head of a mouse. And it is too late for that mouse to yawn when it is already inside the cat's mouth. Precisely, Tony. Precisely. Well, Joanna, tell me. We shall. shooting sparks out its mouth. Hey! It starts beneath its tongue. Hey, Tony! Gertrude will not be made fun of. She's an invited guest. Welcome. No. I assure oh. you, it will treat you nicely if you are kind to her. Who's on fire? Well, she's not bad looking when you get a bit closer. Necks like heather, lips like a forest of honey, and cheeks like two almost ripe Lincoln berries this close. Oh, I'm starting to love her. Come, come, come closer. And I'll rip your house off! Oh, Please, you can't! Yours? I wonder if God created me or sin, sir. Oh, don't care about them, Gertrude. They will not harm you as long as you are in my security. Your security? Am I a cripple to need security? Stay away from me. I hate even more than those others. What is hard in your young heart, so? Ask your miserable husband, who's hiding right now behind the corner and won't let himself be seen. He hasn't done a bad thing to you. I happen to no one. Step aside, Bridge. <clears throat> you betrayed your promise, you measly. You ate your honor like a dog. <laughs> <laughs> She's lying. Son of a bitch, how she can dribble. And, and you are laughing, Bridge. Turn to me if you dare, you miserable. Were I a man, I'd shut her mouth. Come! Attack me, everyone, all at once. I'm afraid of you. But I tell you, Bridge is a word eater. A vow breaker! Oh, no. Worst traitor under the sun! Deny her at large! Depress a snake that spreads her venom around! Deny? Depress me? No! Gertrude! Are you ranting nonsense? Please, come, drink some wine, dance some polska, that's something compared to arguing on nothing. Worthless! Suffocating your sin that is wine! Oh, this was such a big sin, wasn't it? Once, but a young man fool a pretty girl, an especially cheaper gypsy girl like you are, without him having any serious intentions whatsoever. Let's drink, everybody. Stop! Your pretended love will betray a living inside your mind. 
Therefore, you shall get paid back the same way. With this engagement ring, I shall throw the last jet of tea out of my heart. My glass will follow you until your death. And be off. But first, enjoy the happiness and love that you've established at another's destruction. Meanwhile, I will wander around the house of your happiness, screaming vengeance. Vengeance! Vengeance! <laughs> How are you doing? Joanna? Quite some well, I'm afraid. Very spicy Turkish pepper. Oh, doomsday, and so stood rich there, like, like a wretched sinner, with no words issuing from his mouth. This, this, oh, this dread. <laughs> it won't leave my body with, with nothing more than booze. What are you doing there, Tony? I'm looking for the ring blasted through on the ground. It does not cost any effort. It's just some kind of copper ring. Useless, wicked. Even though she carried it around in her breasts, that fool. Ah, you're toast, man! Are oh, you feeling better to be? Johanna! Do you need something? I, I need to get away from oh, here. You got frightened in vain. You should not keep yourself worry minded for such a thing. Look, how she cries for such a thing. <laughs> Wonder why. We're not being too nice to hear such things about your husband at your wedding. We've done things. Betrayals. Oh, betrayals? Oh, you're being silly. Is it betraying to fool a girl a bit? That happens. Women are put on the earth to be justice for men. There's not too much other use for them. What's wrong with a young man making love to a beautiful girl? Or a few? You cannot marry them all, after all. But you have gotten engaged to that girl! For what reason did you leave her just like that? Because I got a better one! That girl has not even a proper skirt, nor money in the bank like this one does. Much more preferred, I take you. Joanna, do not carry hatred on me because of that. I need to get away. Where are you going? In the middle of everything. The two of us don't fit together. Has she lost her mind? Johanna, you'll make yourself a joke. Newly wed and already would like to separate them from man. I've never heard of such. Because of what? The, the ravings of a mad woman. Yes, no man believes Hong Santu to be wise. Who hoped him that you stick these needles? Oh, oh rather the purse. Spirit is wanting this poor person. A cursed spirit? Me? Yes! Incitement of a cursed spirit these are. Nothing more. Certainly nothing more. I would do the same if I were oh, Johanna. No. You must listen to her. She is always thinking the opposite in everything. But dear people, how could one live together with a man she cannot trust? Just let me go! Is this how you respect him as your husband and master? Were we all not witness just some moments ago when you were sold into Rich's possession? To be tied to him eternally? And for you to behave in every way that suits your husband. Ah, that suits your husband. Those were the priest's words. And even so, in the first misfortune, you are ready to give up on him. That you were created that for the woman was created for the man. Not the other way around. It stands in the Bible. Poor human soul. Pray for forgiveness from your man. I'm ready to forgive her. Oh. Do you hear how good natured he is? You, you should, should be, be thankful. thankful. Leave! Johanna! You can stay with me in the beginning. It would be a great sin. You caught fixing a mistake, you gonna sin. You are being witty and inappropriate. And for that I shall off. Farewell, Johanna. Already made! Stay for a bit. I have gotten enough of the um, wedding joy. Goodbye. <laughs> enough of the wedding joy? No, this. The joy is only just about to begin. Yes! yes. Hey. I'm going to Posca. Rich, I don't have energy. I'm tired and I can tell you can have fever. You must dance. What else? Well, Johanna, will you come with us and throw some legs around? And slow the pace down like that.
Tony, a drink is needed at this point in the morning. You haven't got any money, not a single penny. You see your wife over there? Now, this is does not leave to the marketplace empty handed. Bloody man, you shall not spend it if you want. Did this happen? It's my money, all right? One will always stand her ground against a substitute pence. The money belongs to me. But the missus thinks differently. Thinks against the laws and justice of a country. It's not the way. When in Rome, you do as the Romans, Romans do, or yes. you're off from the country. Can you see how she's afraid of me? Hides like a thief. A proof that she has money. Bear with me, Tony. We'll soon get drinks. Joanna, wait. Don't go. Listen. You got any money? Why do you ask? Well, I need some. Don't make excuses. I see in your eyes that you've got some. Only one mark that I got as knitting pay for two pairs of socks. It has to be put into food. The child is crying his hunger at home. Again. Insisting. Just be a good wife and give the money here so you'll get away with lesser inconvenience. You'll always get some more for the needs of the child. Before I earn another one, the child will die out of famine. And I'm not good for work if I cannot get bread. I haven't eaten. The child is sucking an empty breath on top of everything. No wonder where all my strengths have gone. I can bear this time. Then you've got some strength to whine. Isn't that your own fault? Should have borrowed some from the smiths, I've told you a thousand times. I will never be able to repay him. Earn it for be that. Do as you wish. But you should blame yourself if you're suffering from a shortage. This is ridiculous. Give me the money already. How dare you ask it from me? You drunk and spent all my previous savings. And you robbed me penny after penny with everything I earn. Is it right that a man cannot put himself to work but drinks and erase through his days until he destroys everything his wife has gathered? We are nearly homeless now, and it has barely been a year since we got married. To start and shout in the middle of a marketplace like that, aren't you ashamed? People are staring at you like at a stranger. What could I do when I've ended up in such an unfortunate state? <laughs> yes, you go and whimper there for such a good thing as one mark. I think this is a matter of life and death. <laughs> do you tell me this is the first time you forcefully take the pennies I've earned with sweat and effort? Not to mention those I had before I married Yes, you go and brag about your dowry here too. Such a silly amount of 600 marks. Many wives bring thousands, tens of thousands for their husbands. You, I scabby little thing. I do not know why I said that. When the mind is bitter, the mouth becomes slippery. Shall I call the police? Make the wife obey. Well, what's it going to be? Shall I start shouting already? Hey, police! Don't make him. Take this. Take your own life as well, so I would get out of this misery. <laughs> what is your misery? You should at least go home to cry about it. So you don't wind up being the target for the mockery in this town. Well, did you get some? What do I have in here? Do you see? Ooh, enough for a bottle. Look, we some lucky guys. The wife is vexing me, objecting me in such ways. Well, I know that, bro. Well, be a man. Bear it all. It stands in the Bible that a man shall suffer for his wife's weakness. 
for they are the fragile vessels of the world. To the pub, then! Yes! We shall go and live like proper landlords like for a day. Proper Do landlords. Do not judge a drinking lad, a drinking lad. Come and buy some bread. Not now, May. Is it the price? This time I'll have to leave the shopping bee. Wouldn't you like to start weaving some cloth? Mrs. Force asked me a while ago to scout for a trustworthy someone that would be skilled enough for that kind of work. I know no one whose honesty I can guarantee as well as yours. That would be such a great help for me. A loom work earns better than anything done with just hands. Is it soon enough she'll want to get it started? Go and ask. Tell her I sent you. But one more thing, still. You'll get some bread from me. You know me. You'll pay me back when you can. Thank you. A thousand times. Here, take this one. God will reward you for your kindness, mate. I cannot thank you enough. Hong Sun Tzu! Gypsy girl! Hong Sun Tzu! Who is the first of you in the world? Away! Who is the first of you in the world? I earned my living by digging them up. Oh no! You poor me! That's a poor old lady! Don't put them out of my hand! That's it! Don't go too close! It has a mark of an eating wolf! Have you gotten your body from a crow? Yeah! Yeah! The Oh, 
So, I don't dare to look for them too much. The lotions are no help. When they started to burn, twice, it's well done. Revenge me, Ridge. 
I need to somehow atone this to you. You know, I came after you hoping you'd do so. I'd give my own life to get your side back. You can make it up to me some other way. I know, Rich. I will work and make your living. It won't get you far. Don't pay much for a woman. Oh, go from a fair to another and dance and sing. And in the gentleman's drinking parlor, they pay even more. I wonder how I can sooner see how to pay back my own unfortunate act. Such a peculiar nature. So sullen in the morning still, and now so good again. Where does your anger go when it's nowhere to be seen anymore? <laughs> I am ashamed of my own stupidity. <laughs> Take me with you. What? We'll go from fair to fair and gather that money. T to gather you and me? Yes, us both. I will guide you. But how can you do that if you go blind? Well, if I don't go completely blind. I'll come a week from now. Bye then. If he betrays me once more, I will kill him. to promise to come. Harry! You at home? Where else? Well, the pub you were usually seen till now. The money has run the dam out. It did not last too long in your fingers. One wretched 600 marks. Can't run the trap too long with that. Well, I swept quite a bit before earning that up. You were at the pub? Yes, I just came from that. No, remember that. Oh, it's always crumb. We are proper golden lads for you. I doubt the world would get on very well with us. You say that for real? Well, listen. Who does all the work here? The masters? Or the working classes? And who gets the benefits of that work? Answer me that, will you? If we did not have breweries, or if we did not have spirit drinkers, we would not need breweries. And if we did not have breweries, then. How would the nation collect its alcohol taxes? And how then would you build your schools and your railways? 
Precisely. How hard am I able to think of that? But the great mist is on the other hand, drinking those fancy French oaths. And going abroad for every necessity, does this not tire our land? And how will it be refunded if not by the sweat and labor of the lowest people? Oh, hunger, yes, hunger too. No matter how much our kind toil, it will not be enough to get by. A madman works a lot. A wise man will get by with less amount of strength. I myself will not let my shoulders be dragged down by too much work. Rather, shall I drink? And then yes. will mankind make better benefit of my humble self. Better than with you working. Well, if I worked, it would only get those rich ones richer. Let's go to the pub. Yes, let's go to the pub. To the pub. Do you have anything that we can pour um, here? So when it's fabric, we'll take that to pour into the pub. But what will your wife say? What can she do for me? Fair enough. Hand the empty meat. Bridge was carrying fabric. 
Yes, he was. A, a beautiful fabric, it seemed to be. Yellow base with stripes? That's solid. Well, what is it? <gasps> Don't know what came to you. Has something happened? talking so odd. I could not believe it all. True it all seems to be, since you are so full of agony. I've lost everything. Calm down. This will bring me down. I, I cannot bear this anymore. My poor child. Johanna, listen. Listen. A human being cannot give way to struggle like that. It will damage your health. What will make it put me off of this? Nothing. She knows you that well. I will go and talk to her. For oh Christ's sake, this won't do. Johanna, look at me. I will give you the money. You will pay full price for the fabric, and then she will have nothing to say about it. Do you hear me? But how could I take the money from you when I don't know how I can repay you? I cannot. I... Brother, go to prison. No, do not worry about going to prison. And what comes to the payment, don't trouble your mind on that. I will not get any poorer if I do not receive the full payment then. You have to stand for yourself. Otherwise, you are not naked in this world. Easy for you to say, you're a man. It's different for us boys. What could we do? Try. Still try. You're still human after all. Do not forget that. She does not need to know you've got the money from me. Be the man now. Promise. I'll try. Bye, Joanna. George! God bless you. Thank you. No one in the streets. Maybe she won't come at all today. She could have gotten guests or something else. Someone just arrived. It's her! It's her! Finally! I was held back in the thread shop for such a long time. I met Mrs. Gosling. She is the head of the sorority and she's promised to give you work for the whole of winter. What is 
wrong with you, Johanna? Let me see the fabric. It's taken, ma'am. Cut and taken. Taken? <laughs> Cut and taken? 25 cubits of fabric? Already. If this is how they can oppress and beat me down, 
and to take away my child. My own beautiful boy. No! I won't do that. If Reggie is coming home, he'll help he's the father of the child. He'll be moved by this accident he got me into. If only he would come soon. This pain! My darling husband, it separates me and his company of worthy descent. I didn't grieve too much if at all I just laughed through the long weekend. Ha, ha, ha. My darling husband, it separates me and his company of worthy descent. I didn't grieve too much if at all I just laughed through the long weekend. I mean, for being a bit tipsy, I've just been drinking a farewell party. Yes, have you ever heard anything stranger, Johanna? Home Santu and Ridge are far away already. Left off with a half mad woman to travel the world. Many greetings, even though, well, he did not actually send any. Clinton, getting on with his own. You're out on your luck. But don't worry about that. Just sing. My darling husband, it's separate from the world, away. it's company of wedding. It cannot be true! Do you believe the lover who has the throat on those who are telling about it? Not just Tony. He has even offered to send us free. That woman had normally been to the pub just to tempt him. That line could easily mesmerize others. But don't let this loss take you over so suddenly. But what, what is the matter with you? Nothing! Husband, it's separate with me and his company as where did he Shut say? up, Toby! The floor is spinning! She is sick! My child! My Help me! My They've taken my child from me! Take them! Oh, Help me! Don't be me, sir! The kids told me. I came as soon as I heard. Today healthy, tomorrow an axe beats the root of a tree. But let this be a warning to us not to spend our days of mercy in carefreeness, but to remind us how life is just a mere run of dust, as quick as the running river of lust. I bet she did not believe she died as soon. You should not have left her like you did. I already regretted it as soon as I heard about it myself. What has happened has happened. 
she upset for me leaving? Started to rave as soon as she heard. Maybe that's for the best. The fabric gave her so much pain. She was so afraid of Mrs. Forrest. Well, I could have left it undone if you knew. Well, couldn't she, the poor, dead thing, had, had only guessed that we hadn't sold it, only pawned it for the money? Too sensitive by her nature. She always stressed on all kinds of unnecessary things. Was she angry? Not too much. She thanked me for not hitting her even once. We were living in good spirits. That is to do your honor, for the flesh is weak, and temptations are plentiful. She was delirious about taking care of the child. The child? What, should I come up with him right now? I have been thinking about that too. If only he were a bit older. I've tried him to beg, if nothing else helped. What can I do for him? No. No, this is the very thing. Could I take him to the poorhouse? I could try. Johanna wished for May to foster the child. <laughs> well, I'd be carefree about the boy if you did. Always worth to ask. If I took him to her, she might give mercy on us. I'll follow you as soon as I clean myself up a bit. Poor thing. This is such a beautiful child. May will take him. We'll see. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. Goodbye. Not your quest. But listen still, in a Kaiser, you'd be so kind. Would you just mention to May how much of a good husband I was to my deceased wife? She'd be good. Were you already thinking of another one when your late wife's not even cold yet? Not yours to worry. I'm somehow a bit of a chubby man. This about not being good enough for women still. We'll show them. Who's there? Hurry, come in, you scamp! Came back quite soon. Soon. I don't feel like needing to travel around in this autumn weather. It's very foul. How? Who says we let you leave? I ran away. Bode when she decides to come after you. If she can try, I will chip chop a raincoat of prison for her vagrancy. You should thank your luck for getting away so easily. That girl has a fierce nature. Well, your wife died in the meantime. You'll get another one as soon as you can. What's to worry about it then? How's my shirt? I should have washed my face, and I haven't got a single drop of water. I shall go and fetch you some. Could be a miracle if she does not take a husband. I'm Santa. What are you doing here? Claim your farewell, Bridge. Farewell. <laughs> All right, so be it. You just so happened to have bad timing. I was about to leave. There's for a vacation to go on. You look so odd. What have you got in your hand? This is my family revolver. Somehow quite well to us. What have you got that for? This sort of aim. 
main cam could use from time to time. Is it loaded? Yes. You mustn't play with guns like that. Why not? Remember, shooting yourself. Or you. <laughs> or me. Or the man. Where are you off to? Nowhere. Be right back. You are not given the slightest risk of your immediate pain. You've got evil thoughts in your mind, Gertrude. Where would I have had anything else back here? What I was afraid of. Is that pixie blood constantly boiling up in you? Please, Gertrude, try to restrain yourself for heaven's sake. Heaven was not made for me. No, I promise you, whatever, but you have to control your mind. I stop lost and promises. I wasn't going to leave you. As soon as I got into one end of the ground, we'll be together. I promise. We'll be together. Six feet under. Worse rebel, dead in the ground, not before. If, if, if I was to marry you, you'd become the wife of an honorable husband, not a shipwreck. Of the town street that you've been up to this moment. Do this! You have betrayed me. There won't be a third time. Then listen, listen to me when I speak. Do not pull the trigger. Look, look, I cannot get out of the spot where I am standing, even if I wanted to. Speak quickly, then. Tell me, do you want something? I do. What do you want? Revenge. Where the hell is Tony? She got all furious. Fury won't do good when she ends up in prison. We'll just put her to bigger shackles. What if she is released? Then my life will be in danger again. She won't be released. Fast. Do not be afraid. I know the law that well. First, she'll be sentenced to many, many years for the attempted murder. And after that, she'll be put into penal servitude. For no one would dare foster this living thing. The crown shall take care of her from now on. It is, all in all, a good thing that this country has its laws and its justice that protects the safety of its people. What will we encounter if those type of creatures were allowed to roam free? Take it into arrest. The laws and justice. Is she saying? The girl? <laughs> Get up already, girl. I won't go to carry you myself. And speak clear if you have something to say. Your laws and your justice. The laws and your justice. 
your justice. What does she mean? I was really aiming at them. Oh, she's mad. Check her eyes. They're probably rolling around in her head. Blimey, she might actually be a mad girl. Your laws and your justice. Shall we go already? I was really aiming at them. Mad, she said. Fully wise pagan she is, confused and reviling the highest of justice. It's a good thing to put in the protocol that she threatens the laws and our justice. The <laughs> your laws and your justice! <laughs> really necessary. Of course it is. Is this a sign of her attack? I was really in myself. Right, let's go. <laughs> Keep moving. Get back. May I ask you to walk the park? We've done a rescue test. Many folks will come. Your Lord and your justice! Any litter in the house? Good day. Oh. May. Oh, come in and take a seat, please. Yes, please. Drop out. I'm good to stand here, thank you. No, your place is not by the doorstep. Please come in. That's indifferent where my place is. I'd like to exchange a few words about your child. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yes, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. May I take care of him and treat him like my own? Dare I ask for more? Yes, so that you yourself would not have a thing to say about it. Won't intervene. I won't trouble the whole living thing, I swear. Good. In that case, I will take your son, and with God's help, will try to make him good. Um, yes, there was one other thing I wanted to talk to you about. You see, I am... Oh, I happen to be a widowed man right now. It's not a good thing for a man to be alone. It says so in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Oh, but of course, it's too soon for you. But if you wanted, this could be taken care of right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> Do not blabber nonsense. You won't seduce me. You should settle for the fact that you destroyed the lives of two women already. That is enough for one man. Destroyed the lives of two women. What talk is this? Your wife died out of sorrow and worries for you. Who said so? And if that were not enough, you have forced <coughs> into a twice worse state of mind that poor girl oh, that the gosh. policemen were taking out when I walked in here. She's proceeding with the laws and the justice. And how are you proceeding with? Me? For what could I possibly be pulled into liability for? For nothing, that's for sure. Nothing! The world got what it wanted out of you. It won't punish you or take your mistakes as mistakes. Priests and judges alone are on your side. For the sin is blinding their eyes. The servants of the light use their power <laughs> for the justice of the darkness. But all went end here. The last words are not said yet. As much as the servant has his master and the poor man has God, so be it that you and your kind will once stand in front of that throne when no man will falsify justice and the truth as they wish. For then you shall be judged for good. Well, what did she mean? What about the mad girl? What? Oh, shut up, dear brother. Who told her to come here and kill another person? Who? Pity that poor girl. Anything but. But! But what? Have you already gotten her? He said some girls will go quite mad when they're in that state. <laughs> Nonsense. 
<laughs> Nonsense! Nonsense! Let's go to the pub. Thank <laughs> you. 